Hello lads and lasses, uh, this is just a note to say this is a time to appreciate all our heroes in the NHS but also to you, our servicemen and women. I'm sure that you have had tough battles before and this is yet another that we can win thanks to all your efforts. I just want to say how much you are appreciated from everybody in Great Britain. Uh, my name is Billy Foster, uh, credit for Seve Ballesteros, Lee Westwood, Darren Clark. And now, Matt Fitzpatrick. I just want to share one little story with you. And um, it happened at the Ryder Cup, 2002. And the first morning I was caddying for Darren Clark. And we were playing a match against Tiger Woods and Paul Lersinger. Darren was playing with Thomas Bjorn. It was an eight o'clock tea time, first match, first morning of the Ryder Cup. So it got to quarter to eight, 15 minutes before tea time. And, you know, a bit nervous, you know, it's, it's your World Cup final, your FA Cup final, whatever you want to call it. So important. So 15 minutes before tea time, I've said to Darren, Darren, you know, a bit nervous, the old flock of seagulls are flapping this morning. I said, uh, I need to go for the Tom Kite. A shite. I'll be back in five minutes. No problem, Billy. So off I go into the toilets. As I walk in there, there's Davis Love, the turds caddy in there. Cubby. Morning, Billy. Morning Cubby, how are you doing? Sat down, trap one, trollers round me ankles just to give it the full Monty, full morning glory. Trollers round me ankles just to give it the full thrust. Jesus Christ, full reverse. Noticed there's no toilet paper. Oh. Close call, trollers back up, across the corridor, Cubby. Bang, trap two. Sit down, check, check behind me, there's 20 rolls of toilet paper. On the shelf behind me. Happy days. So I'm having my morning glory Tom Kite like. And next minute I hear the spikes on the bathroom floor. <laughs> morning cubby. Morning tiger. Bang. Trap one. Where I've just come from. Now I know. I'm the only man in the world that knows there's no toilet paper in there. So I've got my ear to the door. Listening to tiger. <laughs> oh that's not solid tiger. That's a disaster there. I'm using the 20 rolls of toilet paper behind me to dry my eyes. I'm crying, laughing, because i just got this vision in my head. A Tiger Woods, the chosen one, walking up the fifth hole of the day, bow-legged, like John Wayne that's just got off his horse, because he's got a pair of underpants that resemble a Japanese flag. He's bow-legged. I'm crying, laughing. And as I walk out, I just hear this little sigh coming from his cubicle. I thought, I can't do it to him. So I walked back and rolled up 20 sheets of toilet paper, got down my hands and knees, went under his toilet door with my arm and went, whoever's in there, you might be needing this. And as I walked out, I went, you're up, one up. And as I walked out, Tiger's come out five minutes later, I've told everybody on the putting green, this is now first match of the Ryder Cup. Tiger Woods has come out with a smile from here to here. Well, Tiger Woods, you owe me a big time. I went, Billy Foster, I owe you big time. And at the end of the day, Clark and Bjorn beat him one up anyway. So I went on to caddy for Tiger Woods at the President's Cup. He asked me to work for him while Steve Williams was having, wife was having a baby. And I think the reason I got the job is because I give him the Maradona, the hand of God with the toilet paper. Not because I'm a good caddy. Respect to all you lads out there. Stay safe. All the best, Billy.